Hello everyone, Gameaholic here. Welcome back to my channel and in today's video we're going to be talking about what I think is the best food source in Fallout 76. Okay, so before we start this video, if it is helpful, useful or interesting, then please do consider liking, sharing, commenting and subscribing. Okay, so I'm Gameaholic and I'm bringing you this guide today and it is about the food source. So as you may notice in the game, especially at early level, you don't have much food and you have a hunger and thirst bar. These tend to go down really quickly and it can be quite troublesome and generally a pain. And I have what I think is the best method for keeping these bars up without really having to farm much at all. And it's quite simple really, it's basically having a corn farm. So basically at your base you just want to get down as many corn as possible. I have quite a lot as you can see and I also use the perk once I get to it. It is green thumb which means I get twice the amount of flora. So every time I harvest one of these I get two. If I just do it now look, two corn added, two corn added, two corn, so on, so on and so on. I'm not going to do all of these right now. Okay so I've managed to get all the corn now. And I will first of all show you where to get corn from. The best place I found to get corn is quite close to Vault 76. It's a little bit north and it was over this area. There's a few random bits of corn in a field. You may come across some feral ghouls. They're normally quite low level, so it's not too difficult to do. And the other part that I had was getting a hazmat suit. And I do believe I got that from the power plant. It's not essential that you get the hazmat suit, it just helps when you're at lower level so you don't end up getting radiated too much because you are going to have to get water. Now pretty early on in the game it tells you how to do this so I'm not going to explain how to boil water but basically you just collect dirty water. I see I'm ended up telling you anyway but basically you get, you get some dirty water and then we go and cook it at the cooking station and turn it into boiled water and then we combine the corn and the water together to make our corn soup. So we're here at the station and we're just going to boil up. I've only got a bit here just to demonstrate. Of, of course you need wood as well. Just thought I'd mention that on the side. And then once you've done that just get your corn and make corn soup. I have quite a bit of boiling water. I'm going to make up quite a bit here. Oh, we've got a nice challenge as well. Cook soup. So there we go, we've cooked it all up now and it's also worth mentioning obviously that if you don't use your soup it will turn to, to uh, spoiled food. Only farm what you need and only make what you need uh, so that you don't end up wasting it. But then again it's all free food because you're all going to have this on your own base. As like with this canned food that would improve my, my hunger and for example something like and for example something like purified water would get the thirst done. The good thing about the the corn soup is that it will do both together at the same time. So there you have it, there's my little mini guide about managing your food sources. It's especially helpful in the early stages of the game. It's a quick and easy method of keeping those thirst bars and those hunger bars up at the same time and it's definitely been my favourite thing to farm for. So remember only to make what you think you will need because it will waste after a certain period of time. You can get perks to prolong this, but in the early stages, just make enough to get you by. Obviously, it also heals you as well. One other thing I'll mention before I finish this video is that if you sleep before in your base as well, you will get the extra XP when actually crafting the, the corn soup. So that'll give you a little bit of extra XP for free, uh, which is obviously helpful as well. But that's it for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. I'll be back again soon with more Fallout 76 and take care. Oh,